It's so basic of me to be using a red lip, but I just fell in love with this color all over again I feel like overlining my lips with this ribbon wherever it is in this mess that's makeup that's around me that you cannot see um, I feel like overlining my lips with ribbon really like does things for me So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So if you want to see Why I did this look for this incredible Ayaya dress then keep watching my face is already primed. I do have my sunscreen on. So I'm going to go in with my Lancome Stick Foundation. And I know I did express some concern about the inconsistency in performance of this foundation. But what I came to realize um, after testing it out a bit more is that this foundation is definitely still my ride or die foundation. But if you're not in a controlled environment, like if you're going somewhere where it's hotter, or if you're going to be driving around and it's going to be like, you're going to be sweating on your face, you're going to definitely need to set this with powder and then it will not budge whatsoever, you know? So I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Kabuki brush as usual and sweep this all over my face Now I'm going to move on to my eyes because I am like I said in a hurry So the look that I'm going for is something to match this gorgeous dress because this dress is the focus of my shooting today And I'm really excited to finally like have this on it is such good quality You will see in the pictures and like later on in the vlog part of this video But I just wanted to show you the dress. This is the Ayaya dress This is in the design fine lady and I am completely Completely obsessed these colors are gorgeous so I am going to go for a very yellowy greeny sort of color to pay homage to the colors of the views and for that as usual I'm going to go in with my Saharan palettes because I tried to switch back over to my Morphe palettes the other day and the quality is just not there compared to these so I'm going to be using damp brushes this is my brush case and because I'm in a hurry I'm just showing you everything now and then I'll move on and like show you the steps as I'm going along I don't need to prime with these colors which is another reason I love them so they do eliminate that step I'm just going to go in with with Morocco and use this all over my lid as my base color using a fluffy brush that is dry I like to start off with the brushes dry and then transition into a wet brush just so we can build up a lighter pigment and then like build it up from there you know I'm going to go into Jezebel and just deepen up that color a bit in the crease with the same fluffy brush but now it's wet I'm going to go into the color Kenya and just pack this into my outer corner as you can see, it has deepened everything up because the brush is wet, so it is giving off more pigment. And this is the one that I really want to stand out here because I do want it to be more of a smoky look. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm just going to sweep it ever so slightly into the crease. Like, I'm not going to pack it in there because I just want the crease to be a bit darker, but not like... To overpower the purple you know and I know it looks sloppy now but I guarantee you the only thing you ever really need with an eyeshadow look is lashes that makes everything look amazing so even if you don't like the way it turns out like now wait until you see it with the eyelashes and how banging that looks and then you'll be like oh my gosh winning you know now I'm going to take a flat brush and with it dry just to show you the difference I am going to go into Nairobi Do you see how crazy this pigmentation is? And as you can see, I'm only going until about halfway on my eyelid and still under my crease because my crease is right there. I'm only packing it in halfway to the front of my eyelid and under the crease. If it goes a bit over, it's not the end of the world, but I do like to concentrate the color underneath my crease and then like blur it out from there, you know? Can you see that? I guess wetting the brush allows you to just gather up more product from the pan so when it does go on it is more punchy like right from the get-go as opposed to like having to build it up like this side so I am just going to go over the other side of the wet brush as well and then just try to like sort of blend out that yellow without going too far over my crease as you can see I've made a mistake and gone far over there but I will show you how to fix that telepathy is a foiled shadow as you can see that pigmentation will be crazy so I'm just gonna swoop my brush on top of that and then go over Nairobi with it and as you can see you can definitely see the difference between telepathy and Nairobi but I do want them to sort of mix together and complement each other as opposed to competing so I will have that yellow base but with like a metallic -y look on top of it. Almost like I've put glitter but like no glitter, you know? Now I'm going to go back into Morocco with the damp fluffy brush. And ooh, 
you're gonna want to wipe off a damp brush before you dip it into a color because I've just dipped into Morocco and look at this patch of brown that I've gotten in there so that's really not ideal I don't know if you can see that but yeah you're gonna want to use a wet wipe and just wipe off your brush so the brown that I did last use on it can sort of go away and then go into Morocco and then blend out my crease so as you'll see this yellow that I have smudged on the top of the crease line will sort of disappear and like dissipate and make it look like a glittery above the crease look i don't know it will just make it look better you know what i'm feeling like the brown isn't really deep enough for what i'm going for so i think i will go in with chad from the saharan palette and just darken out that outer crease and you can see what a dramatic difference it's already made so I'm just going to remove some of the chad from my brush, then dip into Jezebel, which is a purple, and then just blend that out so that it's not like too harsh. So I don't know if you can see on the sides of my nose that there is a ton of fallout from the telepathy color. That's to be expected because I did pack it onto the brush. What I am going to do is go in with a liquid eyeliner. And I am using Jessie's Girl because I absolutely love this liner and it's supposed to be a dupe for like the more expensive ones. So I do like to use this for my wing. As you can see, I am not the queen of the wing, but I am pretty proud of my efforts because I am getting slightly better and better the more that I do it. So the next step for me is usually my lower lash line. And I am going to go in with my gel liner because I did used to use a black pencil because I do love a dark like lower lash line. So for me, it has to be black. But um, I realized that the black one smudges on me a lot for some reason. But this gel liner from Naked, total knockoff, um, is something that I've been using a lot lately. And it really doesn't smudge, it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. And it still keeps me looking really dark and like smoky, you know. So I'm definitely a big fan of this one. So my camera overheated. So I decided to just go ahead and do my lashes and my eyebrows off camera. Now that that's done, I'm going to move on to the next step of my eyeshadow look. Because I did say I would incorporate some green in it. And I didn't want to use that in my outer corner because I wanted that to be like dark and smoky. So I am going to go in with Kia, which is the green in this palette. As opposed to the lighter green. In this other palette like do you see the color difference so i'm just going to go in with this on my lower lash line to add like a pop of color to it you know i'm using the same flat brush that i used with the yellow eyeshadow so i'm going to take my pencil brush and go into zuri which is a neutral enough color like it's not stock white it's neutral enough to like blend into the overall look without standing out too much then i'm just going to blend this into the green on my lower lash line and voila my eyes are done and I'm actually pretty happy with the way this turned out. It is more orangey than I planned, but I can live with that. I am going to do the rest of everything, which involves contour. So I'm just using my cream Anastasia contour that I have reviewed and I'll link it up here if you haven't seen that video. I'm just going to take the second lightest color in my elf quad and just build that up on the side of my blush brush. And then I'm just going to sweep this right on top of my contour. I'm just going to go in with my Pearl Powder Foundation and this Kabuki brush and sort of touch up my face right now just to make sure the color of this foundation isn't too different from the rest of myself, you know? Next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. I don't know if it's an eyeshadow or a blush. I just know it's the e.l.f. Enchanted and I love it as a highlight. With the other side of the brush that I use for my blush, um, I'm just going to dab in and then sweep this on the tops of my cheeks. I don't know if you can see that, but my highlight is already popping and I barely touched it. To be honest, I do prefer the other e.l.f. Um, either blush or highlighter, I don't even know what it is. But I do prefer the other one because it is a brighter color. And this is a bit more golden, which is great, but I think it matches my eyes a bit too much. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Illuminating Quad. And this is broken, so I do tend not to use it. I think I'm just going to replace it. But I'm just going to pick up the brighter colors. Already picked up way too much, so I'm just going to close that and attempt to get this on my face without looking like a clown. Please don't judge me. I like a lot of highlights anyway, so I guess I really have no complaints. Now I'm just going to, now I'm just going to pack that off and then blend this in. And this is now more of a me highlight because I do like my highlight to be like properly popping. And because it's not liquid, I'm not afraid of it drying in any specific areas before I get to them. So I'm actually really happy with this. One thing I didn't do is use concealer underneath my eyes and I'm feeling like maybe I should have. So I will just go in with a powder highlight and highlight right underneath here just to add some brightness underneath my eyes, you know. I'm going to go in with my concealer brush from my Morphe set. Just touch it ever so slightly in there and then lay it in a very specific place. Like I literally just want to cover up my bags. 
and brighten up this area right underneath my eye as you can see my under eye area is brightened but it still kind of comes together with the entire look so I'm not mad at it last but not least is lipstick and I'm gonna be really predictable and just go in with my red lipstick because I've fallen in love with it all over again so this is happening <laughs> search pictures here these are the shoes that I decided to pair with it I did have a belt on but I do prefer it without the belt because like I'm so casual so yeah but I am enjoying this place this is a tune hotel in Westlands it is so gorgeous they are so nice they actually let us film and let me show you my favorite background for filming because I mean for taking pictures because it's absolutely stunning can you even see it look at how gorgeous this glass behind me is like is that not perfect for any picture so yeah I think we're wrapping it up there's a jukebox let me just give you a hotel tour really quickly it's a jukebox so you choose your music that is the patio area this is the reception I'm trying to plan really quickly so that I don't invade anyone's privacy what hotel what restaurant is this This is grab and go bar and takeaway and it is absolutely stunning. So next time you are coming here, definitely pass by. And yeah, very cool. So we've officially left Tune Hotel, which is an amazing place by the way. The people are so friendly. So I am in the car. I've literally just turned it off. I've been driving for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I just wanted to show you my foundation. As you can see, I am looking a little bit on the oily like i don't really want to say oily i want to say like glowy side because this isn't oily to me like i don't need to blot and i'm looking in the mirror and it just looks healthy and alive but like natural you know so i'm completely obsessed with the way this is performing as you can see i have been wearing um I have been wearing my shades and you can see on my cheek area the foundation has not moved at all and that is the issue that I had with this Lancome foundation is that it was it did move around like I wore it to a meeting and by the time I got there it had been like so hot that um the spectacle the shades had actually moved the foundation around my eyes so I'm really happy that hasn't happened now as you can see on my nose area I don't know if it's focused but yeah on my nose area okay my bags are like real right now don't judge me but like on my nose area um it has sort of imprinted but even that's not like a big issue so I'm actually very impressed by how well not only the foundation is performing but the pearl um, powder foundation has set the makeup like it's done a really good job so I just wanted to show you that I am headed into the supermarket so I'm not at home but um yeah unfortunately I can't vlog in there but like I'm trying to make this a real vlog so like I'm fleshing it out you know but um as you can see the car is empty so the other guys have already left and yeah I'm gonna go buy some stuff and then I'll vlog more when I get to the house I'm actually really happy with the way the whole look turned out and the way it performed I hope you guys like the pictures and this whole video be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below and yeah I guess if you guys like this type of video let me know in the comments down below so that I can put up more vlogs because I have so many unedited ones but yeah I just thought it might be fun to shoot this and I'm feeling all cozy so I am in my sweater but um yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video